Hey everyone, how are you? David DeFranco here with another Squarespace tutorial powered by Squarespace Summit. So in today's tutorial, we're going to walk you through the process of how to customize your announcement bar, which we actually covered in a past tutorial. And if you're interested in watching that one first, please use the link right below. Okay, so once your announcement bar is enabled, you'll most likely want to customize its appearance, meaning its font, the font size, and even the font color. And well, to do just that, we'll want to enter into the Style Editor view by clicking the paintbrush icon on the bottom right. And if for some reason you're not seeing this little control panel on the bottom right, you'll want to log into your Squarespace account and then view your website live as if you normally would. So once you are logged in, click the paintbrush icon to enter into style mode. And here on the left, we'll see a style sidebar, which allows you to customize a huge variety of attributes on your Squarespace website. But to easily display only the announcement bar's attributes, simply click just that, the announcement bar. So on the left sidebar, you'll see that Squarespace is displaying only the appearance options for the announcement bar. So over here, we have the ability to change the bar's background color. As you can see, we'll make it a nice light gray, as well as the bar's text color. So this orange is currently clashing with this light gray. So let's make it, what do you say, a dark blue. That doesn't look too bad. And then finally, we can customize the announcement bar's font by choosing from a large variety of fonts built right into Squarespace. So for this video's purpose, let's choose a completely random one. How about Alice? And just to have a little bit of fun, let's make the font so big that you really can't even view it. Actually, no, realistically, let's bump it back down to maybe, what do you say, 15 pixels. That's not too bad. And of course, we can do text transform, meaning that we can change the font's caps from capitalize to uppercase to lowercase. But for now, let's just choose none. And of course, letter spacing, we can increase the space between each character. Now, honestly, this is very ugly and it's actually scaring me a bit. So for now, I'm just gonna click cancel to revert my changes. But of course, if you do wanna save your changes, be sure to click the save button. Now, if you want our opinion, we really think you should go with an announcement bar style that blends in well with your website. For example, closing the style editor, let's discard, and viewing the top where the announcement bar is, you'll see that we chose the exact same orange that is located on the right call to action button. This is especially important in design and just making your website overall feeling very balanced. So that's it. That is the easiest and fastest way of customizing the announcement bar on your Squarespace website. We are a huge fan of the announcement bar. And again, if you're not using it yet, please check out the link right below. We promise setting it up takes just seconds. It really is that awesome. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this Squarespace tutorial powered by Squarespace Summit. We really appreciate it and we will see you in our next video.